Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter E-Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about troubleshooting the Aquamaster High Efficiency Water Softener. So these water softeners are extremely reliable, last a long time, but, it, but sometime in the future you may have concern about water continuously running to drain. And that's what we're talking about here today. There could be one of two reasons why water is continuously flowing to drain. The first one is that it's part way through a cycle and water is flowing to drain because of that or uh, there's an internal leak and it's not in a cycle but water is continuously flowing to drain. So let's just check the obvious first and that is, is there power to the controller? So you can see there's power, it, it, it flicks back and forth to the different settings here, gallons remaining and it also uh, flow in gallons per minute, etc. So if that's illuminated and that's uh, passing back and forth, that's great. But the other thing to check at this point is uh, the, um, where it's plugged in. If it's plugged into an outlet, that switched. In other words, um, power comes on when it's switched one way or, or power goes off switched another way, that may be causing the problem. The next thing is, is the controller attached properly. So on the back of the controller, you can just slide it off here, you can see there's um, some clips here and these clips seat onto here and that's what locates it in place. So you have to slide it over and make sure it clicks into space, into, into place. I've seen it that it continuously running to drain when this wasn't clicked all the way over. So make sure you check that. Um, is it currently in a regeneration cycle? So let me start a regeneration cycle. I can hold down the button here for five seconds and that's going to start a cycle. So you know when it's uh, currently in a regeneration cycle when um, it's not waffling back and forth between gallons remaining and gallons per minute flow rate. So if you see something else on the screen, something like what's going to come up here in a second, that means it's uh, currently in a cycle and water should be flowing to drain. So if it's, if it's doing that at an inconvenient time, you may need to make sure the settings in terms of the time and the regeneration time are set uh, correctly on this. So you can see here it says backwash. If this was hooked up to water, there would be water to flowing to drain right now, and that's 100% normal. If none of those were an issue, then we need to go a little bit deeper. So what we can do is we can remove the controller and have a look over here. So the magnetic disc maybe was causing the problem. So make sure that it's tight and make sure that it's uh, sitting on here properly. Um, or the problem could be something is stuck inside the valve body itself. So the valve would need to be disassembled and we'd have to check that out. If you find that the motor is running, but it's running and then click, run, click, run, click, that tells you that there's something wrong with the valve assembly here. And that need, means it needs to be uh, disassembled, checked out, and if necessary, replaced. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way we'll be notified about all the new videos they become available on our channel. Um, you, for some more information, you can go to our websites, either thewaterstoremidland.com or thewaterfilteresestore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.